The first thing I did when I went back to Las Vegas was I went to Cafe Espresso Roma, my favorite hangout in Las Vegas. I moved into some apartments behind Cafe Roma called the Living Desert. It's called Long Acres when I first moved there and then they changed it to Living Desert. But it was, uh, it was nice. I mean, I felt like it was a nice place to live because it was um, in the middle of everything. Basically, that's a five minute walk from my, from my front door to Cafe Roma. So I just hang out there all the time, you know, I'd like pick up the local rags like uh, Scope Magazine, hang out, have coffee and meet people and stuff. There was a big concentration of people that were involved in the scene living in that area. So you weren't always necessarily just, you know, playing music or writing poetry or whatever is you're doing. You, we'd all be hanging out together in that area. It was almost, uh, I wouldn't say a commune, but it was definitely a community. I think one of the reasons why so many people were living in that area, it's like the same thing that happened in New York in the 70s in that whole blighted area. It was, it was cheap. It was cheap for artists to live there. And that was the same thing that was going on in Las Vegas. It's like it was, it was cheap to live there. It was close enough to the necessities that you could walk to because a lot of people didn't drive. The fact that they were within walking distance made, made the whole thing possible to hold together. That you could at least walk from Benway Bob to uh, Cafe Rainbow uh, just a couple blocks and, and still get a, have a sense of continuity or connectedness or, or at least you, know, you have your spots and you can connect your dots. I think part of the strength of the scene was that we were all hanging out in this really tiny little space together and either you were here or you were just across the street over at the other coffee shop. If you were looking for somebody, you know, those were the two places that you would go. Part of the reason for going to Maryland Parkway was you could go to Cafe Roma, you can swing down to Tower Records, go across to Paymans, and you're always going to run into somebody that you know. Uh, there's always going to be something going on. You can find something going on. And like I said, there's a certain sense of community. It's like everybody was actually friends and stuff. There was no, I'm better than you, or my band's better than you, or da 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 It's like everybody was there to support each other.